I guess, so what is a carrier? Well, a carrier is a ship that is able to carry other ships while protecting them. And the ship should be able to carry these ships without reducing its own combat effectiveness. Meaning that the turrets shouldn't be blocked. So there's two types of carriers. The first one is the more practical one, which is open deck carrier. It's more practical because you're able to carry big ships. And in most circumstances, it's more practical than carrying smaller ships. The second type is an enclosed hangar carrier. And the good thing about enclosed hangar carrier is that even though you can only carry smaller ships, you're providing more protection to the ships. But alright, let's say you want to ignore the second rule of a carrier. Even then, it would still take a lot of space. For example, let's say you want to carry a lot of ships, right? I will have to delete this line of jetling towers to make space for it. Or I have to make a big flat deck, which is gonna take a lot of space or weight. But what if there's actually a spot in almost any ship that is practically a flight deck. Well, <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? So the diagonal or the diagonals on your ship is practically a flight deck. And using this space will not take up turret space because turrets or any blocks cannot go on diagonals. I mean, Look at just how many fighters I can cram in only one diagonal. And these are medium sized fighters as well. So they are not small. And it won't be obstructing the turret's line of sight as much. I mean, it still does kind of from this diagonal, for example, or the other diagonal. But it's not too bad, you know? So yeah. Uh, that's how you can make a flight deck on your ship without taking up space for turrets. Just use the diagonal bits on your ship.